Sorry, just being silly. Um, I just thought I'd do a quick video of a wig that I made a while ago. Um, I posted some pictures up. Yeah, I'm brushing while I'm talking. <laughs> I posted some pictures up on um, Instagram and Facebook of the wig because I was just, you know, messing around. I saw this hair in a beauty supply store I went to and they had it on a mannequin. These bangs are killing me. Yeah, they had it on a mannequin and I fell in love with it. And it was in this color. <laughs> and um, I don't normally buy beauty supply hair just because I don't know. I buy quality hair that lasts. But I saw this, it was really inexpensive. Um, and I was like, oh, this would give me a really cute, funky short style for those days when I want to do something different and crazy. F it. It is what it is for now. But yeah, for those days when I want to do something funky, crazy, whatever. And so, I went ahead and got it. I got two packs. This is the hair. Three. Something. The color is 1B76. FF 1B76. It's the Ultra Twist. And this is the natural pattern of the hair. Of course, I brushed out a lot of it. This is how it came. Um long is this eight inches yeah and I didn't cut anything but I want to show it to you guys I've worn it a couple of times since I made it um, but basically I haven't done anything to it I was like I don't know if I want to flat iron it or curl it or anything because I don't know how it's gonna act I mean it feels it feels okay it feels nice it's supposed to be human hair but you know um, and I'm a person, I can't have, like, of course my hair doesn't blend with this color um, or this texture. And I'm a person that doesn't like a full closed-in weave or wig. I, I can't do the little no-part thing. So I made my own little part. <laughs> I call myself being creative. Um, it's actually a technique I wanted to try for a while that I had in my mind. I just threw this together. I just wanted to show it to y'all. Let me see. What y'all think? How does this look on me? You guys think I should style it differently? <laughs> Flat iron it? Do I look just absolutely stupid? Does the color look bad? What y'all think? Because I mean, I've been really um, stuck on short hair lately. I used to wear my natural hair short, and so I've just been. It's hot this summer, and I've just been kind of stuck on short hair. I know y'all probably be like, why does she keep playing in this hair? But yeah. So I saw this and I had to get it. It does not look how it looked on the mannequin. I will tell y'all that. One thing about it though, these I, I bought two packs and this is what I left out of the two packs after making this unit. And um, I spaced it out kind of far apart in the back. So it's not as full as I would like it. I don't know why I didn't go back and add this. I guess I just didn't feel like it. But I would think for a really, really full look, you probably would need like three packs of it. I think it was maybe like 11 or $12 a pack. That's the price on the package. But yeah, it's like 11 or $12 a pack. And it's a, like I said, it's a full unit. What y'all think is a little part though? I don't know if this looks, um, you know, realistic. And I didn't bring it all the way down because I wanted the hair to fall down and swoop. So, um, if I would have had the part come all the way down, you know, it would have done the whole off to the side thing. But I wanted it to come down and swoop so that I could do it like this. You know what I mean? All the way down. Show y'all the hair texture. I mean, for a quick, inexpensive, funky look like you want to do something short or even for a bob it may work for a bob i'll try to flat iron it um actually i might turn this into a bob i don't know because everybody's doing bobs now i'm not trying to you know um but it's it's it seems like it's decent so far i'm no expert on beauty supply store hair so what i'm telling y'all is just what i'm feeling right now these bangs are killing me people i need to do something with these bangs But yeah, this, I mean, 
it serves its purpose. The color's cool. I don't know what I want to do with it. It's not literally, I didn't shape it or anything. Um, I was wearing it like this. Of course, behind my ear. It's, this side was killing me too. Go short, go short. Alright, um, if y'all have any questions about this here, let me know. And, um, I'll try to answer them the best I can. Oh, y'all might want to see the webs, huh? Let me do that real quick for you guys. Show you what the web looks like. And basically the color is like the 1B on one side and the burgundy on the other. So that's something if you were using this color or the FF2 color, then you would have to keep that in mind when you're going back and forth. If you want the alternate colors, then you want to make sure you flip that track over each time so that you can get a good color scheme. And it's like it's pretty cool if you wanted to do like a chunk of black with just a little red peekaboos, you could just keep it on the black side or vice versa. Or you could do like I did, alternate um, so that it's like a fluid blend of colors, blend of the two colors. But yeah, let me know what y'all think. Um, and I ha like I said, I have pictures posted up on Instagram that they're from like, I want to say like a month ago. Uh, and on Facebook too. I'll try to post up some more pictures later. This is not my everyday look, so <laughs> I'm really not taking a bunch of pictures of it. I'll talk to y'all later.